YouTube, how you all doing? Quick combiner box video for my uh, travel trailer, Jayco 212 QBW. I didn't want to assume that everybody knows about this Dinkel assembly kit, terminal blocks, and uh, you can move things around. You can buy this in single color, but I opted for a uh, black and red. Um, I think it's great uh, to be used for solar panels, and you just put it right here, right? Slide it in place and it just snaps in place like that. Since I'm wiring my uh, solar panel parallel, all I have to do is combine the positive and positive and negative and negative together uh, for parallel configuration. And the way to join these terminal blocks together is you use this jumper right here. And if I want to expand on my solar panel in the future uh, for 400 watts, since I have four right there, again, they're independent. But if I use this jumper, just like that, insert it, I just connected all three of them together. And if I add another jumper, I just connected all four. Perfect for a parallel configuration. And of course, if you're doing in series, it means you need to connect negative to positive, right? Um, you just do it that way. So there's so many possibilities using this uh, Dinkle assembly kit. Uh, 10 gang again, you could buy this uh, as a single color, but I opted for black and red Yeah, I'll put a link on the description two positives two negatives About one and a quarter inches center of the hole install the cable glands. This is the rubber gasket right there And just assemble it Didn't want to bore you uh, doing a video on drilling the holes, right? But it's good to go there it is. I went with this design instead. I was debating between the uh, relay system, but decided on a fuse block instead. Perfect. So also I got a bus bar right there for negative. Uh, just in case I expand the system because um, I'm gonna be installing some camera system as well and I figured I could use an additional uh, negative uh, bus bar here's the box let's assemble it Here it is, completed combiner box. The holes for the cable glands. I started using this um, step-up drill bit and uh, realized I just need a half inch uh, drill bit. So, drilled four of them right here, right? That's where the uh, solar panels will be coming in. And then from there, I'll connect it to the, uh, just a positive will be connected to this um, fuse block right here for two of them. And of course, right there, now it's fused, goes right there. And then from here, uh, one cable, uh, I would say probably 10 gauge or eight gauge, uh, probably 10, uh, will be going into my, uh, tra inside the travel trailer. Still need to figure out where to, drive a hole uh, onto my roof and the placement of this uh, combiner box. But it's definitely gonna be next to the solar panels. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. Chat with you guys later. Waterproof IP68 uh, rating. So don't get an IP65. Get an IP67 uh, or 68. Take a look, an updated configuration. That's about it, just a quick one. Had to rearrange it. Um, the more I think about it, I think this is the uh, ideal configuration, but you never know. You may move it around again. That's the beauty of this uh, box. This Dinkle assembly kit is rated uh, 60 amp and could take wires um, from six gauge to down to 20 gauge, right? 
and it's rated 600 volts. Pretty cool. One side is protected, the other one is open, and again, it just snaps in place right here. It hooks onto the rail and snaps in place. Take a look at that. And you can push it aside. And the end cap, fully enclosed, is what you put in the middle, uh, the very end. Don't put this in the middle, but put this end cap fully enclosed. Uh, block right so there you go snap it in place you are good to go ground kit it's only uh four dollars pretty neat go ahead and pop it open and install it